Hello everyone. My name is Mark Fennell, as you know. I have changed my look a little bit to reflect a different type of personality. More personality that I've always had, but I believe represents me in a way that um, I should be represented. Let's put it that way. I'll talk more about that in another video. Right now what I want to talk about is understanding the spiritual world and our lives. Understanding how we create our own lives, yet at the same time we can get guidance and assistance from the spiritual world. And a great example of this is a charmed TV episode called Charmed Noir. Okay? I love Charmed episodes because the Charmed TV show is really, it's very realistic. From my experiences with the spiritual world, from going up to higher dimensions, I know that the Charmed TV show actually has a lot of reality in it. I've, I've experienced a lot of that. But Charmed Noir has always been one of my favorites, it's always been one of the best. And I want to talk to you about that episode and how you can understand life. Life here on Earth, life here in the grander scheme. Now, I own all the Charmed episodes, and I suggest you go out and buy them as well. So go out and buy the full Charmed episode, the season that has Charmed Noir, and you can see the whole thing. I'm going to give you a summary of it for, for the purposes of this. There's a book that's been created, and people can enter into this book, and they become living characters in this novel. Now, the novel is not finished. The characters in the novel write the novel as they go. Very much like our lives, isn't it? The novel is not finished. We live it we write it as we go. At the same time, there are the Charmed Sisters who are outside the book. If you will, very much in a higher dimension. They can look down. They can watch the characters writing the book. They can watch the story unfolding from their higher dimension. At the same time, the sisters can add plot twists, which the characters then have to respond to. The sisters can also add hints, tips, suggestions. And if the characters in the novel are paying attention, they, they know that that's a tip from the outside authors at the higher dimension. Okay? So in the novel, in the novel, in the story, what we've got is the characters in the novel. There are people who've entered into the novel, writing the novel as they live it. Then you have the charm sisters outside the novel who are watching it unfold adding plot twists, adding tips, okay? Now this is very, very, very much like our own lives. We actually start outside the earthly realm in the spiritual realms, all right? We incarnate, we come down, all right? So this is very much like the characters entering into the novel, we come down into the earthly level. Okay? Now, the novel is not finished because the characters write it. That's what we do. Our story is not finished. Our story is being written. And who's writing it? We are. We are essentially the ones who's writing it. Okay? We are the ones who are writing our own story. 
Now, it's not entirely us. There are other characters in the novel that do what they do. We're aware of that. Everyone has their own motivations and desires, right? And there are outside authors. Just like in the Charmed episode, the outside authors are the Charm Sisters. They put in plot twists. What happens to us? Sometimes it seems that plot twists come into our lives, right? Sometimes those plot twists come from out there, people who are on the higher dimension, higher level of looking at things. A lot of times these plot twists are for our own benefit. Sometimes they're to guide us. Sometimes they're signs just to give us suggestions of what to do, where to go, where not to go. If we pay attention, we can listen to that. Now, in the, in the Charmed episode, some things that I like is that they... There's one time where a piano just dropped from the sky. And that was just a funny way of... of that was blocking their path. And the, the Charmed sister just said, I, I need some way to block the path so that they're going to go this direction and not this direction. And so she just had a piano drop from the sky. So that's... It's humorous. But that's, that's, what, that's what our higher dimensional friends are trying to do to us sometimes. You know, they're trying to say, hey, don't go that way. And if we keep trying to go that way, they'll say, no, really, 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 really don't go that way. Really, you really want to go this way. Because they can see the broader picture that we can't. So it's, it's, a, it's a co-working relationship with our lives. We create it, but we have guidance from those guys who see the overall. Okay? That's how that works. Here's another interesting thing. When the novel is finally finished, the characters leave the novel, come out of the novel, into the same room where the Charm Sisters are. That is very much like the end of our physical lives. Right? We, don't, we don't physically die. I mean, we physically die in that sense, but we're still here. If you consider the novel as your life, when the novel is over, when your total, all your chapters are over, the book is closed. What do you do? You leave the earthly plane. You go to a higher level. That's what you do. So physically, the book is closed. Physically, people will say, okay, this person died. But they're actually to a higher level. Out there. And when any of us are out there, then we get to watch who's ever in the novel. In their novels. All right? That's kind of how this works. And the Charmed Noir episode... One of my favorites. It really explains it very well. It's a co-author relationship. We create our own lives. There are other characters in the novel creating their own lives. We work together. The novel works itself out because we all are writing it. But then there's a third level of co-workers, I mean co-authors, which are out there giving us hints and tips. There's another point in there, which is very good. The, the writers of this episode are very good. I should look up to see who the exact writers are. But they're very, very good. One of the things it says they're trying to write and the pen doesn't work, they say the pen's fine. You're just not allowed to write that for them. Okay, so there are some things that they out there may want to do for us but they can't. It's, it's not how the program works. All right? It's not how the program works. They can guide us. They can put some things in. They can bring some elements in. They can bring some characters in. But there's some things that they just can't do. Now, who are those can and can't rules made by? I don't know exactly. But they kind of, they kind of show that in the episode. 
And what they can put in, the pen works. What they can't put in, what they want to put in but can't, the pen doesn't work. And that leads me to one of my other favorite parts. Outside, in the outside of the book, one of the Charm Sisters, Piper, who's also one of my favorite characters, says, we cannot save them. Heroes must be heroes. They must do it themselves. Heroes must be heroes. They must do it themselves. That is us. That is our lives. And whether that's a, a big hero, like you're a, you're sent here on a mission, you know, like, like I'm sent here on various missions, or whether it's just your own life, being the hero of your own life, as Joseph Campbell would say, taking, taking control of your own life and making your own challenges and conquering those and, you know, moving forward, whatever it is, the hero must be heroes. Some things the guides can do for us, and they do. Sometimes they will help the heroes, but a lot of times they can't. Heroes must be heroes. And I know that very much. I know that so much. Much more, much more than I can explain right now. Much more than I'm willing to divulge. But there are things I know out there, really out there, which have to do with heroes and guidance to heroes. Right, I know this for a fact. I know this so well. Heroes are usually guided. You ask for help. You ask for training. You ask for skills. You ask for partners. And they can help provide those to you. But who's ultimately going to slay that dragon? Who's ultimately going to enter that cave? Who is ultimately going to be the captain of the ship? Who is ultimately going to lead the people? The guys out there aren't doing it. It's the hero who does it. Heroes must be heroes. And they must take on the challenge themselves. And they must do it themselves. So yes, ask for guidance. Ask for assistance. Ask for training. But in terms of leading the people, slaying the dragon, taking action, me, you, that's what it is. Right? So there it is. One of my favorite episodes from Charmed called Charmed Noir. Watch it. Own it. It tells you so much of what you need to know regarding life on earth taking charge of your own life writing your own story yet also collaborating with the co-authors at the higher dimension who are able to see the broader picture okay that's it write your own story Ask for guidance, work with the above, pay attention, pay attention to those signals, pay attention to their signs, listen to them, but write your own story. Heroes must be heroes. That's it. See you next time.